to switch la scientific director with ziva fertility centers there are many kinds of surgical extraction of sperms we are going to be talking about them in detail so what are the types of surgical extraction of sperms let's talk about mesa first microsurgical epididymal sperm uh, aspiration so microsurgically the testis is opened and sperms are aspirated uh, from the epididymis that's a part of the testis next is pisa percutaneous epididymal sperm aspiration as the name suggests percutaneous is from the superficial layer skin layer of the testis uh, a thin needle is passed and sperms are aspirated from the epididymal area it's a very simple procedure and only local anesthesia is required next is a tc also called as testicular sperm extraction sperms can be retrieved directly from the testis and when there are no sperms in the Uh, epididymis more can be explored in the testis area where seminiferous tubules these are tubes where the sperms are produced are explored further for sperms so how do we decide what kind of uh, surgery should be performed should it be microsurgical or conventional microsurgical is performed when there are no sperms present uh, through a conventional procedure conventional procedure can be directly converted to a microsurgical procedure in the same setting where with the help of a microscope your urologist can look deeper into the testis area at various location and pick out sperms from some area or the other it's a very important procedure to perform when we are looking for sperms and there is hope that uh, sperm is are being produced based on your hormone evaluation what about icsi how do we use these sperms well it's very easy as i said we either freeze them or use them the same day uh, when the eggs are retrieved from the female partner and we inject uh, one sperm into each egg thereby helping in fertilization of the egg we observe the uh, forming embryos for the next 5 days and put back only the uh, good grade embryos back into the endometrium of the woman the rest can be frozen if there are more surplus embryos they can be frozen for a future date so it's a very easy procedure in terms of efficacy on in uh, on behalf of the urologist because they are extremely efficient and uh, trained uh, there are specialized in these areas so if there is a likelihood that sperms are present there is a likelihood that your urologist will find them if you want to understand more if you have been reported as azoospermia uh, in your semen analysis you want to understand your treatment options please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you